Cats like that, bro, is, they were hating too, bro. They were all hating, bro. You know what I'm saying? And we came in the game, young bucks, young bucks, looking up at these cats like, yo, D Shade, I'm a, yo, I'm not, I may not be a fan, but I know who you are, bro. Like, hey, some of you, I seen you on TV, and cats really don't, I don't know what it is, bro. I don't know what it is, but it's not there. It's not there. They don't show no love, bro. And and they know my pedigree. They know what I'm capable of. And it's like, bro, it's like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, my whole thing is this, right? If I'm doubt, if I'm doubting myself in my own craft, if I, I'm a young artist coming up, I doubted myself. I'm not 100% confident. I'm, I'm, I'm doubting in myself. I'm not 100% confident in my staff. And I meet an established artist. Mm. Bro, it's your duty, my G, to pass the torch. If the kid is whack, cool. You ain't gotta break him down, though. You could just say, "Yo, this is where yo nice, but this is where you need improvement." This is how I teach. That's how I work with you, man. Yo, you nice, but this is how you. But bro, these cats, these older cats, when you came in, they wasn't even on none of that, bro. It was just on some yo. You, you barely exist. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, I can't. Nice. Yo, I feel like I like what you're saying, too, because, like, part of what I'm trying to do in terms of, like, my cypher, too, is I have to think about some things. There's some some attitudes might appear in this, this, like, that I don't like, you know? It is what it is. I don't like all the attitudes in hip-hop. Um, mm. There are multiple spheres. Like, listen, one of the biggest problems... I'll, I'll tell you a story that fucked up my career for a year. Me and my dude uh, were involved in a show, and I'm on the flyer. All right, so this is big news bears, my guy. I can finally get people from work and shit to show up to some shit or whatever, you know? Maybe it wasn't the one I'm on the flyer. It's one of those ones still, whatever. We come on through, um, and I got 10 of my colleagues to show up, dude. 10 of them. Colleagues. Like, yo, that's impossible. And within 30 minutes of being there, this fight breaks out as some guy throws a drink in a girl's face. And then a literal brawl breaks out in front of the show. And I don't know about this because I'm the host. So I'm inside the whole night fucking trying to hold it down. And then I find out all this after. And then my colleagues went back to work and told everybody. And nobody wow. came to a single performance I did for over a year until it was till it got around that my, my shows were safe again. And that I was making smarter choices with my venues. And I'm like wow that was a huge and i try to tell people it has happened to me and nobody like fucking listens to a damn thing i'm like you're not hearing what i'm saying my guy because if you really listen to what i said is a lot of people who work in a place that make a lot of money were terrified to go to the fucking place where the fight broke out and here's the thing i'm scared to go to the place where the fight i know i know i'm supposed to be in hip-hop mr tough guy mom i can't fucking fight my guy i don't want to be a mob boss in the back with goons i don't want to have to fight like these are different fucking paths in life okay if i have to sure i'll throw an elbow i guess i don't fucking know Muscle and there's the brains you know what i'm saying so but like one of the brains. i don't want to necessarily have to go to a place where my health is harmed by a physical altercation if i don't have to right of course not so i can just create that vibe you know and that that's yeah. like another is that any less hip-hop i don't think it's less hip-hop i think it's like Yo, what's up, Willie? Willie Scandals is up in here. Um, any less hip hop? I don't think it is. I think uh, sure, Bow raps a whole thing. This kind of raps a whole thing. But like, like, that's my whole thing. If people feel a certain, bro, this is my thing. When I talk about living out the culture, bro, people should appreciate the culture more. If we, if this, if this is why Montreal never goes anywhere as far as hip hop is because. Or never been nowhere. I like it. I was gonna say it, but you did it yourself. Right, right, right. Yeah, I got, I, got, I, got, I got. So, you know, the reason why I never been nowhere because we can't even agree on this is the culture. Like anywhere else in the world that blew up, you know what I'm saying? They had an it was an agreement, even if it wasn't a verbal one, even if it was just subconscious agreement that yo, we have a general consensus of what is dope. Mm. And if that's dope, then yo, we all gotta get behind it and push it worldwide. That's what makes every place blow up. Over here, people can't even 
have enough confidence in themselves to say, or couldn't have confidence within themselves to say, yo, this is dope. Even if it ain't me, this is dope. Mm. Let's push that. So I guess. You know, and I feel, I feel like I'm a dope ass artist, bro. But there's nothing stopping me from bigging up Bamboo. And when he drops his video, I share his shit. He's not in no way, shape, or form affiliated to my company in no way whatsoever, my brother. Yo, but he's dope. I can't help it. I share Bamboo shit, too. He's just fucking dope. He's dope, bro. And it pushes the culture forward. More people need to hear this, right? That's how I feel. Why why well, why could, exactly. But why can't more people do that, though? That's my whole beef with, you know what I'm saying? And as much as I love everybody... I, mean, I got answers for that because, yo, I did four years of album reviews, so I got a little bit insight into fandoms and shit. Um, mm. Yo, people want what they like at the end of the day. So it's all this, like, democratic game. Like, you think I'm not playing a game to create the world I want? That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to convince people that maybe there's more economics in the direction I want things to go via good business tactics. And this is the strategic elements I'm using to make my place. But I'm also trying to listen to people. You know what my girlfriend told me? She wants to have fun at a show and dance. I'm like, that's smart. It took me a long time to get, yo, years of living with her before I, I really listened to what that meant. And why she listened to Iggy Azalea as her favorite rapper. Why? Have a good Iggy's fun. I don't like her music. Is she less fun because I don't like her? No, she is fun. If you really think about it, it's stupid, but it's fun. If you really want to break it down, bro, hip hop, the word and term hip hop, actually started off as a slang for fun. Yep. Or dope ass party, or, you know, like that shit was lit. Yo, that shit was hip hop. Yo, you went to the party last night? Yo, that shit was hip hop, bro. So that's what it's all about. The culture is all about having fun and dialogue and growing. And, you know, that's what it's about, man. So that's why. All this hate, all this. Yeah, man. If we not, focus. Look, but man. that's why we have to focus on that.